One of Austin's biggest festivals is drawing near, along with more information on who's actually on the roster. Today, organizers of South by Southwest announced dozens of speakers coming to the Austin Conference, including Broadway star Sarah Bareilles and Grammy award-winning artist Lizzo. It's a big change, of course, from two years ago when the city canceled the entire festival because of concerns over COVID-19. KXAN's Tahara Rahman looks at the COVID guidelines in place and how businesses are preparing. Britt, Robert, I'm at the Blind Pig where the band is in full swing behind me. The owner here, Bob Woody, tells me this venue has been booked for an event during South By. Now that's pretty typical that businesses, local restaurants and bars will host pop-up events for corporations and other big brands. But some owners I spoke with today say that although they are excited that this event is back in person again, they're still not expecting a full throttle South By app. Atmosphere. It felt like every square inch of Austin would be activated and something going on. To accommodate those South by Southwest crowds, Tegan Han would often keep her stores open until midnight. We bring in millions of dollars worth of merchandise that we are accustomed to selling the majority of um, during the festival. Han is scaling back preparations this year. We're being very cautious to not buy too many um, items in fear of it not being as busy as years past. The event is back to in-person offerings featuring big musicians like Lizzo and Beck, but comes with new rules like vaccination at least 14 days before picking up your credentials or showing proof of a negative COVID test 24 to 48 hours before credential pickup, as well as retesting at intervals. It's just the beginning, if you will, Everything's hard in the beginning. Got to get people used to it again. Bob Woody has booked nine events at his venues so far. He doesn't expect that to increase to levels he saw before South by's COVID hiatus. But both he and Han are still looking forward to a boost. It is a long 10 days for us, no matter what. We're definitely looking forward to a little bit of that Austin energy coming back alive. We reached out to the city of Austin to ask them if there's any chance of cancellation, downsizing, or additional restrictions at South by this year. We also asked them if they're keeping an eye on any indicators as far as COVID-19 cases and what that would mean for South by and other special events. They said that they didn't have any information at this time, but that they hope to answer our questions in the next couple of weeks. Back to you. The Austin Energy, prevalent tonight. And the city recently changed up some of the criteria for a special event permit, so it will not take effect in time for this year's South by Southwest, but it does impact events going forward. Permits now start for events with at least 50 attendees. It used to be at least 100 attendees per day, but officials tell KXAN they wanted to match the fire code rules. They also changed when businesses need to apply for event permits, and the hope here is to give smaller venues more time to apply.